People are relieved to see King back in custody. The families of his alleged victims, especially Tiffany Means. She's the mother of 20 year old DeAnthony Means, who King is accused of gunning down back in 2016. Foxton's Lacey Beasley sat down with Tiffany today. Lacey, it's obviously been a grueling time for her family. What's her reaction to seeing King back behind bars? Hey Lee, it's been a wave of emotions today. Tiffany and I talked about how she and her family have been put through the ringer for nearly six years, watching Trenty on time after time walk in and out of Metro. Now she hopes is the last. Do you have anything to apologize for? No, all I gotta say is you. When he was asked how do he feel about the having apologies or anything to say, he had no remorse, no sympathy, no nothing. Tiffany Means and her family say they have unfortunately seen this cycle before. She's the mother to Anthony Means, King's first alleged murder victim back in 2016. While she's somewhat relieved her son's suspected murderer is back in handcuffs, she knows it's a long road until justice may be served. Him being arrested is one thing, but him getting being convicted is something totally different. More recently, King allegedly opened fire at Eminem Food Mart in Theodore last month, striking two bystanders, Victoria Cunningham and another woman. It wasn't like I got robbed or he was trying to shoot me. You know, I was just an innocent bystander. And according to jail records, he suspected of an armed robbery back in December of 2019, along with a string of other crimes that include assault and reckless endangerment. Time and time again, Tiffany says King has proven to be a disgrace to society. He's had an opportunity to rehabilitate himself after giving a bond, a bond, a bond, and bond. And each time he showed that all he's going to do is get out and harm another individual. And now, after hearing he's back in custody for allegedly shoplifting, she is in disbelief. I was kind of lost for words, um, actually, when I first heard it because I was like, of all things, they caught him shoplifting and he's on the most wanted list for heinous crimes. And yet he was found shoplifting at a local Walmart. I mean, really. More than anything, she wants to see both sides of law enforcement work together so her family can finally get some peace. The police department have to do their part and the district attorney's office have their part to do, but. We all need to work together to make sure that the crime and the criminals are, proved, are found guilty so that the crime rate in Mobile can drop because until that happens, the crime rate will continue to rise. I really hope that he's put away for life. Like, I hope he never sees daylight again. Tiffany also says she hopes the families of other victims continue to speak up so prosecutors can build a solid case against King. She prays her family will never see Trenton King released on bond ever again. Reporting live in studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.